hey what's up everyone creative venus here and welcome to another tutorial on beautiful business presentation slide so the first step is to draw the curve you have to pick the curve from the shape menu and start drawing the curve from left to right and if you don't know how to draw the curve you can watch my previous tutorial on how to draw a curve once your curve is finished join the end node with the starting node by doing this we will get a shape now what we will do is we will trim the extra part from left right and bottom for that we have to select the rectangle shape from the shapes menu and place it over the extra portion of the shape that we have designed now we will use the merge shapes option in the format menu for that we will select both the shape and the rectangle and from the merge shape we will select the subtract so now our curve shape is ready and the next step is to color it and we will give it a nice gradient color and you can see that I have already placed the color palette at the bottom of the slide and we will use these two colors on the gradient nodes I will use purple and dark blue color now the shape looks perfectly fine and what we will do is we will copy, copy this shape and send it to back and give it a light gray color adjust the gray colored shape and we will slightly increase its height so that it is more visible now our curve shape looks perfectly fine next step is to insert a rounded rectangle shape copy the shape and paste next to it now select the rounded rectangle shape and fill it with solid white color remove its outline give shadow increase the blurness to 25 points also increase the distance i think we need some more depth in the shadow let's increase the size as well to 107 percent and increase the blurness to 32 points so let's also apply the same to the next rectangle with format option now again create a copy of it and remove its shadow and place it over the first rounded rectangle so what i'm doing here is i am trying to create a mobile screen kind of thing now you have to align the shape in the center and in the middle so you have to focus on the alignment part so i am further extending its corners so that it gives a nice smartphone look with a thin bezel now it looks perfectly fine copy and paste the same on the second shape now we'll insert pictures into these shapes i have already downloaded some nice wallpapers for the same insert the pictures in both these shapes and adjust the offset values as per your convenience please make sure that the image should not look stretched let's give some shadow effect to these both shapes so that we have more depth and uh, it will give it a nice 3d effect as well now we will add another layer on these images for that copy the image shape and remove its shadow and give it a solid fill make sure it is black 
and move it over the first image and once it's it is perfectly aligned increase its transparency by 30 percent let's keep it 25 and apply the same to the second image as well so now most of the design part is complete next comes the text part and we will write some headings some bullet points so we will play with some text here and i'm searching for railway font i just downloaded it from google fonts so select railway and increase the font size for the text copy and paste the same and in the next line write presentation so i'm just writing some dummy text here and you can use this slide anywhere you want this is a multi-purpose slide you can use for business uh, portfolio about section or you want to display some nice information about a company the kind of work you have done or anything so i thought let's try something new this time let's write our growth story let's give the story more impact so I've increased its font size and boldness and reduced the font size for our growth and to make this text more beautiful we will give it the same gradient color which we have given to the curve in the background so I'm removing the extra nodes from the gradient section and on the left node add purple and on the right node add blue also change the gradient direction so you can try as per your choice so apply the same color on story so look at this isn't it beautiful so let's write description here so I use this formula to write dummy text and apply railway light is reduce the font size align it now we will add two bullet points below this description so this is pretty easy stuff so I'll fast forward the video so we will insert another rectangle shape here and give it a white color and remove its outline and add text right to it so I have copied the same dummy text here you can use your own bullet points so similarly add another bullet point below this point and You can add up to four points in this slide. So let's move this upper text so that we can add one button here, a call to action button, which will help users to navigate to the desired website or slide within this PowerPoint. So I have given it the same gradient color and let's apply shadow increase its blurness by 18 points and also increase the distance so I'm just trying to make sure that the gradient appears nicely and adjusted the nodes a bit let's add learn more here and reduce the font size also increase the character spacing of learn more so this is the end of part one stay tuned for part two as well and i'm sure you like this video so please do not forget to subscribe to our channel thank you everyone have a nice day